Hi YouTube, I'm here again today to give you guys another flea market haul for July 13th, 2014. Got some pretty neat stuff uh, today. Yesterday you saw some more of the stuff that I bought. Uh, yesterday I felt that I found more, but today I think I found more items on the resale side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys the resale items first. Okay, so let's start off with these three uh, coffee cups right here. These are made by Anchor Hawking Fire King. And let's see if I can get it in here without the glare. I'm sorry. So as you can see, it's made by Anchor Hawking, and it's got the Anchor and Fire King wear, made in USA. I apologize for the glare. So that's that. I gave the guy 15 bucks for a bunch of stuff, so... Let's see, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... I gave him $15 for 6 things, so that's about a dollar something a piece. Or no, seven, because I have another piece, but it's not vintage, so that's why it's not in the haul video. So yeah, I got these dirt cheap, and around Christmas time, I think I can make some good money with these. And I like the designs on them, and it's always about subject matter. So, definitely, when you look for vintage coffee cups, make sure you see the subject matter. And, yes, yeah, it depends on what it is, but it'll most likely sell. Okay, the next two items that I'm going to show you are very, very common items. And I typically don't buy items from these two very well-known... Oops. Alright, these are 1977 Raggedy Ann and Andy wall art, and both of them are marked, let's see if I can get that in here, yeah, Raggedy Ann and Andy A.R.E. trademarks of the Bob's Merrill Company, Inc., 1977, the Bob's Merrill Company, Inc., Sirocco ink. These were very, very common. I remember going up to an antique mall far from where I am located, and this person had stacks and stacks of them, and she wanted a dollar a piece for them, which is a good price if you like the Raggedy Ann and Andy. Um, but yeah, I bought these for I think dollar something a piece. And at Christmas time, I'm going to list these for, I think, maybe I'll start them at 5 bucks. see where I go for th with them there. Uh, that's probably all I get is 5 bucks, but that's okay, because I'll make more of my money back. But yeah, they're cool pieces. I wouldn't hang them up. They're not me at all. It's, but I know someone who likes Raggedy Ann and Andy and wants these for cheap will definitely probably buy them from me. Right now, I want to show you the last um, toy item, so to speak, f for the resale videos. I think it's kind of creepy, to be honest with you. This is a vintage baby Colleen doll made by the Mattel company, and here is the tag right here. It says, Quality Origins by Mattel, Baby Colleen, 1965 Mattel Inc., Hawthorne, California, USA. And this toy was patented in the USA and patented in, patented in Canada in 1962. And yeah, it just tells you all the makers. I didn't realize that she was a talking doll until recently. And unfortunately, nothing comes out of her, unfortunately. So the voice mechanism is broken. But I think I'll be, still be able to get my money back. I don't like this doll on, at all, honestly. I just bought it because I knew it was vintage. 
And a lot of people collect the vintage dolls. I don't know how well this Mattel doll will do. I think her hair was cut at one point. I don't know exactly. Because she her hair looks like that. But she's got her original clothing on. I mean, there's a couple rips here and there in the clothing. But this doll is almost 50 years old. So I don't expect it to be in mint condition. But yeah. I definitely hope to make some good money on this at Christmas time. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys uh, each of these really cool um, vintage pieces that I bought for five bucks. I guess I'll start off with this one. <laughs> Back in the day before there were DVDs and VHS and Blu-ray, if you wanted to watch a movie, you had to buy one of these. This is a vintage, I don't know how old it is. Uh, let's see if we can find a date on it. It's an old home movie of the the American in Orbit. I don't know exactly how old it is. I haven't seen a date on any of these, and I looked them up on eBay, and I couldn't find anything on them. So I think I'll definitely put these on at Christmas, because these are cool collectible pieces. Let's see if we can find a date on the back here. Nothing. That's that's strange to me. But yeah, this was these were um, five bucks a piece. I bought something else for. Um, I bought a whole bunch of. I bought four items for thirty dollars. So this is seven fifty each. So I paid seven fifty a piece for these, which is not a bad price at all. And they look to be as if they were never even played, or they were played once or something. I'm not entirely sure on that because I didn't grow up with these. So. Yeah, this there, this one's the American in Orbit. And the only reason I bought these were for the um, monster movie kind of feel. So here's House of Frankenstein. And it also looks as if it's never been played, which is pretty cool. And I don't think this one has a date on it either. No, no dates. That's weird. And here is the Revenge of Frankenstein. Never heard of it before until I saw it. And it also looks as if it's never been played. Oh, you know what? Maybe there's a date on the side of the box. Let's see. Nope, nothing. I don't know why. Let me, let's check the other ones. Nothing. Nothing. Oops, sorry, you guys couldn't see that. Nothing on the House of Frankenstein. And nothing on the American Orbit. Well, I guess that I'll just have to make a good estimate on those. So yeah, that's everything that I bought for resale. Now I guess I'll get into the items that I will be keeping for myself. I guess the first thing that I'll show you guys is this really cool 1971 uh, the Wy Wiley Coyote plush. Here's his tag right here. And it's marked Warner Brothers Inc. 1971. And it's Warner Brothers characters and it's made by the Mighty Star. And if you look at the back here, you see a price of twelve fifty. I did not pay twelve fifty for him. I only paid a buck for him. And he's really cool. I'm going to put him up on my shelf, and I'll see if I can get him up there. I assume I can. And over here, it's marked Warner Brothers Characters, Warner Brothers Inc. 1971 by Nightstar LTD. Montreal, Canada, New Jersey, USA. And then on the back here, I guess this just kind of shows you that it's made of new stuff, new materials. It's funny, I bought a um, Bugs Bunny from this um, same flea market, and it was marked Made in Korea. I guess they were made in different areas, or different regions of the world. I just, I don't know how or why, but yeah, he's pretty cool. I like the Looney Tunes. And he had his original tag, which I bet is hard to find with these. So that's why I bought him. 
And he was only a buck. Can't beat that. Alright, and the next piece that I want to show you, which I have no idea how old it is or what exactly it is. I think it's a sponge rag doll. This is a Mickey sponge rag doll. It's made of spongy material. And there's wire in him. And there's no date or anything on him. So I don't really know much about it. I just know it looked cool. I think he's going to go on my toy shelf. He was also a buck, which is a pretty good deal. I think I'll treasure him in the years to come, and hopefully he'll be worth something someday if I can find anything out about him. Alright, and this next item I thought was pretty cool. I think it's considered mid-century, but it's not from the 50s. It's actually a little later than I had anticipated, but it's still cool. This is a 1964 pink princess phone. I thought it was pretty cool when I saw it, and I picked it up out of the bin that um, was at the market, and I looked at it, and I saw a princess phone, and I was like, this phone's going to be mine. I mean, look at how outdated this is. Like, a rotary telephone. Let me see if I can get it to work. Rotary telephone? Who uses a rotary telephone anymore? No one. And let me see if I can get it to ring. There we go. This was $3. I did clean it up. It was really dirty and grimy when I found it. So I cleaned it up and I wrapped the cordage up for it. So that way I had it for display purposes. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's pink. I mean, yeah, I know it's pink. I've been finding a lot of pink stuff lately. But it's vintage and let me show you guys where the date is. Let's see if we can get it in here. Alright, so, sorry, it's on metal, guys. Oh, there we go. It's marked 1264. So this was made in 1964. It's a really cool piece. Uh, once I get some more shelving in my room, I'll definitely be putting this on the shelving unit. So, yeah, it's a really cool phone, despite the color. Okay, and the last piece that I found that came with the, um, screen, or the home movies is actually my favorite piece of the entire day and I'm really glad I bought it alright this is a really cool 1950's West Clocks kitchen clock I heard that back in the 50's you always bought accessories for your kitchen that matched your dining set so I assume the couple who had this in their house had a red uh, kitchen set and it does work, I just tested it, and I cleaned it up because it was really dirty. And I also heard that when you wanted to paint your house back in the 50s, you painted over the clock, and you made it the color to match everything else in the house, or in the kitchen. So this one has not been painted over, it's the original paint that is um, put onto it when you took it out of the box, fresh to put it out. Again, originally the price was 15 but after I bought the three movies for 15 and the total came out to 30 30 divided by 4 is um, $7.50, so I only paid $7.50 for this clock. And it's cool, it's going to go up in my room, I don't know exactly where, but I'm definitely going to put it up because it's just so cool and I've been wanting a 50s kitchen clock for the longest time. So yeah, anyway, that's everything that I've gotten this past weekend. If this is your first time on my channel, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you have any interest in saving my username for eBay, uh, I will put a link in the description down below. And I believe this will be the last of hauls for the next two weeks. I, as I told you in my last haul video, I have a vacation coming up. And I don't know if we'll be doing any real picking up there. So yeah, um... I appreciate all of you watching my videos, and again, please hit that subscribe button if this is your first time viewing. Thank you for watching.